facing Abilene Christian tonight out of the whack inside Bud Walton Arena. And we are. This is L. Ellis, number three in the white. He is back in the starting lineup for reverse layup for his sixth against Auburn. This is Lawson, lets it fly and connects. That's now got five a already in the first half. Again, you don't like the fact that they can get the ball to the rim, but you like the fact that they can cover it up. It's another turnover. Abilene Christian. But you turn, now the problem is in the offensive end where you have eight turnovers. Again, the, the chemistry and the inconsistency to play the game at both. This is Caleb Battle. Let's see how he looks in his first minutes off the bench. Battle, step back is pure. He can score in the first yeah. half of 6 of 18. Brazil picks up the dribble, and someone's got to help him. He's got to get some more movement, too. There you go. Nice Thank cut you. to the rim. That's Mark, and he soars in for a bucket. Mark cut off, somehow wiggles away out to Brazil. 4-3. Well, there you go. Get that ball to the rim. Cause some help. Make them collapse. Make that ball watch. It's going to free up your shooters. So Brazil has six. Remember, he was so critical in that win against Duke on this court, November 29th, at 21 that day. Corner three, McLean. He's not a huge offense. Defense and really walling them off and keeping off the get to the hole. Monster throwdown. Five seconds. Madden with three. The lead feed. McLean sets the feet and connects. Wow. Abilene Christian ends the half on a 13 to 3 run. They have got a seven point cushion. Basketball over Abilene Christian. No. No doubt. Man. They're running their stuff. They're taking care of the ball. They've got 10 more shots than Arkansas, and they are wow, getting the baby ball. Coming. Why will it happen? Metafield starts. Excuse me, guys. They gotta just, they gotta stay disciplined, stay within themselves, and attack. Get the ball moving, get them moving side to side, inside out, and then attack it. That was Metafield with his first basket. Simmons had to sit much of that first half with the two fouls. That one hangs on the rim. Difficult shot for Diva. Well, you said this in the first half. I thought it was pretty accurate that Abilene Christian is is just taking what Arkansas is giving. Meanwhile, okay, the men contest passes, contest shots. Lawson with the hammer. Let's give it in. Who's open? Caleb Battle. We haven't seen him too much tonight. Nails the three. It's a one position. He's pretty good. <laughs> oh, man. Hey, looking good in that Celtics jersey, by the way. It's been a field. Arkansas back ahead. And yeah, they are back ahead by one. Taking care of the ball. Simmons was turned to three. Taking care of the ball. Turning up the heat defense. Oh, 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 Post catch for Betty All. Hoist it up. Rebound down to battle for a moment. The left touch by Emily and Christian. Passes on the Arkansas side tonight. Clark. Good luck to the rim. Hogs back up by two. You would think. Makes the start. 17 of 33 uh, through the air this year. For what it's worth. Nice long feed inside the Lawson. He is so long in range clear to play ahead of the Lipscomb game. So, Joe, these are the first minutes he's played all year. Played 19 against Lipscomb. Nice move inside. There's Mark again. Dibba on the drive. Bumps into Mark. Floats that one up left and way short. Mark's got it. With numbers. In a hurry. But he scoops it up with Arms length away the last few minutes. They've gone on a couple of surges. It's a long two. He lifts the hand and lifts the way up to get four free throws. Have it back to a six point game. Mark rises. Hey, look at him. Mark rises late in the night. 
And a little boost of courage, too. They were playing two bits primarily in the first half. So there is 6.35 to go. Arkansas playing its second-to-last non-conference game. And aiming to get to conference play with no further blemishes. Graham this Menafield cards in these Wildcats. Defensively, they have tried to trap all night, or at times tonight. Mark pulls it in for this. So Arkansas is going to improve to 8-4. One more non-conference game left. That's on the 30th against UNC Wilmington. And well, let's put it this way. They find a way to get it done.